acquainted with Chase and to our her unusual bug-inspired bungalow. We have these things called nostrils. One of my friends, she said she was kind of frightened by them. My name is Chase. My house is the most unique on the block, and I really want to show it to you, so let's get started. I take my studies very seriously, but when it's time to play, I keep myself entertained a little bit different than most people. Being unique is a theme in our family, and you don't have to look further than my grandma's house to see what I mean. My dad, Eugene, designed it. He's an architect whose biggest inspiration is Mother Nature. My friends and I are always in awe here, and I just think you will be too. Just being here is an amazing learning experience. So come on in and get inspired. This is just the patio way where you put your shoes when you come in. It's a custom in China, you take your shoes off. The inspiration for designing, building the house came from my parents. They're really concerned about earthquakes, about any kind of natural disaster. So I thought, okay, so what in nature is the most durable creature that ever lived. And it turned out that it was the tardigrade. It's about the size of a head of a pin. It has the amazing ability to resist all kinds of stress and strains. And so this building is based on the same principles that a tardigrade is based on. It's elliptical in shape. It's a geometry that's easy to dissipate and deflect stress. I'm convinced that this house will absolutely ride out any kind of serious natural disaster forces, whether it's flooding or fire or earthquakes. Hi. How are you doing today? This room is designed as a kind of an intimate music setting. The room is great for practicing music because it's curved so that the acoustics of the room come back to the center. This is a 21 string Chinese zither. It's called a guzhen in Chinese. I'm gonna play you a song really quick. to the greatest part of the house, which is the living room. Here in the hallway, we have a huge um, circle design. This is a nice window, and it gives you a gateway into the living room. This is the main living room area. My dad, he loves anything round. The whole idea of this particular area is so that people can communicate with each other. The shape allows people to speak very easily with one another. In fact, it's sort of an intimate setting for that. Having a circular living room, it's different. You know, it's more fun. So now I'm gonna take you upstairs and I'm gonna show you the world's coolest staircase. The benefit of going up the ramp is that there's no stairs, so it's much easier to climb up and you won't get as tired. When I was younger, my grandpa took me actually in a blanket and he would pull me down the ramp. Then we have this huge window. It's one of the eyes of the, the creature. It basically absorbs sunlight and it warms up the room during winter. You can also sit in here, which is really fun. You're kind of like you're on a moon or something and you're just like laying back and having a good time. Coming up, party on Chase's very particular patio. Welcome to the patio. I have a surprise for you.
Well, one of the cool things about our house is that we have these things called nostrils, which are air ventilations. You can take them out like that. Air will come through the house from the outside, and you don't have to open the windows. And they're called nostrils because they sort of breathe like our nostrils. They're, they're, they're round and tubular like our nostrils. The way the building is designed, the air just flows right into these small nostril cavities, and that air goes into the house naturally with, with no uh, fan or mechanical power at all. And so the house is very well ventilated by these so-called nostril windows. One of my friends, she said she was kind of frightened by them. After I told her what they were, she was like, oh, OK, never mind. So this is my dad's trophy room. He's the five-time world champion boxer. These are his belts. These are all his capes he makes. Uh, I think that capes are a wonderful attire to wear because they're so flexible. Would you like to try it on? I wear it? Yeah, you could wear it. Here, let's show them how this works. This goes over your head. Um, I don't... There. OK. <laughs> yeah, it fits well. I, I don't think I've ever seen her in one of these. I think she runs every time I try to get her to wear one. Cool. Best friend, Melody. The room is sort of the front of this building, and it kind of looks out onto everything. I've been coming here since I was a little kid. My favorite part of this room is the little things coming out of the walls. It look like you could climb on them. And also up there, there's like a big, huge space that I really want to go up in. I think it's really creative, and it's a whole different style. Melody, shall we? This is the Grand Kitchen. These actually are really cool. This cabinet pulls out like this, but then there's this, a whole nother section to put your stuff. The smart thing about the pull-out cabinets is that it doesn't waste any space. They have a lot of space in here. It may look small, but in all these drawers, there's so much stuff. Welcome to the patio. There's two pillars that connect to the house, and they're to protect the house from any earthquakes. These are my brothers and my family and friends, and we sometimes come to the back patio and hang out, barbecue, and just have fun. This building, is, to me, is a three-dimensional book that other people who want to learn can learn from. And Chase is one of those people, hopefully, and her friends, and everyone who comes in contact with it. That's my hope in the house. To me, this is like a thesis that they can learn from and share for future generations. So MTV, you've experienced my house, you've met my family and friends, and now it's time for me to say goodbye. But I have a surprise for you. Mm -hmm.